In the world of juggling, you have your typical juggling act. You come out, you juggle, you do some cool tricks, and then you leave. But the vastness of juggling doesn't just end there. Over the years, jugglers have invented new ways of juggling by creating new tools, new technology, and new apparatuses. In this video, I'd like to show you five inventions jugglers have made to push juggling to its limit. Before I start the video, I just wanted to say I now post new content like this every week, so if you're new, be sure to subscribe. It's free. Enjoy the video. Number 1. The Cone by Greg Kennedy Greg Kennedy is an American Philly-based juggler that I know quite well. He is the inventor of the mind-bending juggling apparatus known as the Cone. This prop story begins back in 1997. That year, Greg won the juggling championships with a routine that involved a giant clear hemisphere and balls that could roll in different various floral patterns, ending with a run of 8 balls. While this act was quite impressive, it was only the precursor to Greg's most famous juggling apparatus, the cone. Publishing a demo on YouTube, it became one of the original viral videos of the site, having been featured on the featured page for an entire weekend. The physics of this prop are just as impressive as the visual. Because each ball is making its way down the cone due to gravity, it means the tightness of its curve is getting smaller. That forces the ball to get faster just to keep angular momentum the same. The faster each ball gets, the greater the central fugal effect acting upon it. As Greg would throw the balls over his shoulders, they would roll down the cone and then, after diving down, launch their way back up into his hands. Having the balls take us such a wild and wacky path, it would end up leading to some pretty incredible visuals, including patterns where the balls would orbit once, twice, and even three times around his body. With over 10,000 hours of practicing the cone, Greg seems to be at the physical limit for this style of juggling. And while it is Greg's most famous prop, it is definitely not his only one. Greg has invented and created countless acts and inventions, all that work completely different. This truly is what makes people call Greg the innovative juggler. Bounce Piano by Dan Menendez. The Bounce Piano is a truly iconic piece of juggling history, and it's quite likely you've seen it before. This prop is really quite something. The incredible visual of bouncing balls while also playing a song? Super cool idea, super great visual, and it was invented by a guy named Dan Menendez in the year 1986, and it premiered the following year in 1987. Over the years, a couple of people have seemingly reverse engineered and taken the idea for themselves, but Dan is the creator, and honestly, nobody was doing it better than him. What I have here is the world's only bounce piano, and I am the world's only bounce piano player. I guess that makes me the best. <laughs> I'm not going to claim to know exactly how the technology of this thing works, but I don't think you need to be a piano player to know that the piano is gimmicked in some sort of way. But really, I don't think that matters. The visual is so strong that any issue with the semantics of, is the piano really being played, is non-existent. Despite the idea being taken numerous times, there are a small handful of people who have been given exclusive permission to utilize this apparatus, one of which being comedy and variety entertainer, Niels Junker. Number 3. Glow Clubs by Aerotech Our story begins with the Aerotech Juggling Club. Like most inventions, it started off on the drawing board as something completely different. Brothers Phil and Gary Rogers set out trying to realize their dream of creating a wind turbine which would generate free electricity. 
but during their research and design into the motion of turbines, they went off on a tangent and created a juggling club which glows in the dark. The 300 gram club, which weighs about the same as a standard one, is packed with computer gadgetry and allows strobe lighting and color change when it is caught. However, dazzling the audience does not come cheap. Each club cost about $150 compared to the regular 40. Phil and Gary set up Aerotech projects in 1994 and they used their mechanical and engineering backgrounds to produce a range of juggling equipment. Aerotech Projects director Phil Rogers said, We have taken traditional equipment and with a high-tech approach have transformed them beyond most jugglers' dreams. It took seven years research to perfect the electronic club which can be programmed to show a array of dazzling displays. This was the beginning of the Glow Club, and Aerotech was at the forefront of a new age of juggling technology. Being able to program juggling clubs to go along with music resulted in an incredible visual giving way to an entirely new style of juggling act. Aerotech continued to perfect their product, allowing you to control the lights to the beat of a song in real time. But there was definitely a learning barrier back then, needing to know how to program the clubs in a way that was not the most user-friendly. It wasn't until around 2017 that companies like Flow Toys and Light Toys took this technology to a new level, creating a user-friendly interface and frankly better made clubs. The Flow Toys Vision Clubs and the Light Toys FT2s allowed anyone with little time and a lot of patience to create incredible images for their juggling shows. Number 4, The Triangle by Michael Motion. In the words of modern day innovator Jay Gilligan, Michael Motion brought juggling to the here and now. Michael, now quietly removed from the community, is an incredibly influential juggler. If you've seen my previous video about contact juggling, you'll know he basically invented what it is today. But today isn't about contact juggling, today we're talking about the triangle. I believe the first big debut of this apparatus and routine was a part of the 55 minute PBS special dedicated to showing all of the amazing art Motion had created. Michael Motion was also a recipient of the MacArthur Genius Grant, a grant of $250,000 for his exceptional innovation. Not only does the concept just make sense logically, but naturally it lends itself to mathematics and geometry, a reason I find this shape to be so satisfying. But this act is more than just bouncing balls in a triangle. It's about rhythm, timing, exploration, and discovery. Like other acts on this list, this act has been copied by other performers, but in the case of the triangle, I think a lot of the copycats who copy the routine throw for throw, catch for catch, miss the point of this act entirely. Laying over music and various sounds instead of letting the sound of the structure speak for itself. Overall, the mind-bending physics behind this shape and the way that it creates these triangular patterns. This prop is an example of a simple idea being taken to its logical conclusion, and it's no reason everyone looks up to this one. Number 5. Magnet Clubs by Amaron Rosval. In the winter of 2008 and 2009, juggler Amaron Rosval had been playing around with modifying juggling clubs and ended up with this, a magnet club. In August of 2010, Amaron shared his discovery almost as a challenge to the community, along with some of the cool things you could do with them. What I really liked about this prop since the beginning is, it's not about deception, it's not about tricking a person into thinking you can balance a club on a club slightly better, no. The magnet clubs put a highlight on the properties of the magnets themselves. It's about creating new patterns and ideas that could have never existed before. Since then, jugglers like Peter Oberry, Jay Gilligan, Tony Pezzo, Emil Dahl, and even the Water on Mars trio all adopted the idea and put their own unique spin on it. Companies such as K8 and Flow Toys have capitalized on the popularity of this prop by selling clubs that have magnets built directly into the ends. But if you want a real tried and true set of magnet clubs, you might have to ask Amaron yourself. Of all the five inventions on this list, this one is by far the most modern. 
Some of these props, and especially routines, have been stolen, and I do not condone actions like this. I believe in intellectual property and originality, and I hope you do too. As jugglers, we should be pushing each other to create new ideas, building off each other, learning from each other, and so on. So next time you, for example, think of bouncing balls in a triangle, remember that there are an infinite amount of shapes to bounce balls in. When you see someone bouncing balls on a piano, remember that there are hundreds of other instruments you could involve juggling with. Don't take the easy way out, and remember, there are an infinite number of ways to juggle, and we've only scratched the surface. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of what I do, feel free to subscribe. And if you want to support me even more, you can check out my Patreon. I'm trying to reach 75 subs. If I do it, I'll do a 24-hour live stream. That'll be really sick. I'm also running the Juggling Awards, which is a project I started last year. I don't know exactly how much money I'm going to be spending on the awards this year, but if you would like to fund them, feel free to check out my Patreon in the description below. I would like to pay someone to translate into Japanese and Spanish going forward, um, so if you'd like to support that, feel free to do that below as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you.